Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a one pot pot roast, guys. Very simple, very easy. Y'all know I don't like introductions, but I do have an intro coming. So let's just hop right into the video. So first things first, you want to start off with, um, I have a huge, for some reason this onion was huge. So I didn't chop up the whole or uh, slice up the whole onion. I did about half the onion and I just sliced it. Um, but you can dice it. You can uh, cut them in cubes. It's whatever you want to. I just like my onions um, to be sliced when I'm making pot rolls. And I like them I like them to be like a me small, medium size, as you can see. Um, so once you slice up all your onions, you then want to slice up some potatoes. Um, and my work russet potatoes and I like to um, cut them in three sections and then for each section I cut that section in half um, and I uh, sliced up about I want to say five potatoes they were a good size too once you have your potatoes all um, sliced up then you want to clean your potatoes and if you're cutting your potatoes early you can submerge them in some cold water so they don't turn all brown um so now that we have our vegetables chopped up we want to move on to our meat guys so i have a chuck roast i can't remember how many pounds it was um but it was it was it was like a small it looks huge but it's not you know when it cooks it's gonna shrink and i'm just gonna season it with some salt some black pepper some lard seasoned salt some garlic powder and some onion powder um and i'm gonna do this on all size guys um even on the the sides like on the sides the front the back and the sides um and the extra seasonings that just fell on your cutting board just as you can see i'm just uh using uh seasoning it like that um and then this is optional guys but i think it gives it a nice crust to it take some flour or some cornstarch whichever one you prefer and you can just i took about a tablespoon and i'm just gonna coat my chuck roast in um some flour or some cornstarch once you do that, then you should be having your, y'all know I got my handy dandy Dutch oven out. Um, I had my stove on a level set six. It was preheating. I put a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of avocado oil in my pan. And then I'm just going to sear my chuck roast, guys. Um, it looks big again, but it's going to shrink. Um, and I'm going to sear all sides. So that means the front, the back, and all sides. So once that's done, I'm going to take it out and I will show you what I do next. Okay, so we've taken our um, pot roast out and now I'm gonna add just a little bit more avocado oil, about a tablespoon, and then I'm gonna take those onions that we sliced up, um, place that in my pan, let that saute for about three to four minutes. Then I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want to. And I have my stove on a level three and um, I'm then going to add in my minced garlic. I have my onion saute and then I'm gonna add in some baby carrots, guys. You can use whole carrots and cut them to your desired like size. Um, but I just like the baby carrots they're small i like them in my roast small but you can do whatever you want to do um this is your pot roast uh so i'm gonna add my carrots in um and then once i add the carrots in i'm gonna add in those uh sliced potatoes um and then we're gonna mix everything around and then we're gonna add in some beef broth guys you can add beef stock if you want to i honestly don't know the difference just look it up um and um I, i've used both i've used beef broth and i use beef stock I don't know. So um, I'm going to add in a whole container of beef broth and then I'm going to season my, um, what is this called? We're making, uh, I guess the stew for it. I don't know. So we're going we're gonna to season this uh, liquid uh, with vegetables and uh, we're going to season this with some Worcestershire sauce. I did about two tablespoons of that, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some ground thyme, some black pepper, some lard, some salt. Y'all know I'm going to have everything in the description box below. Um, and then we're going to mix this all around. And then once everything's mixed around, we got to place our meat back into our pot and we're going to just make a home for our meat. We're going to submerge our meat in that, um, in the juice. And we're just going to move the vegetables all out the way, kind of put it on top, put it around. Um, and then we are going to cut our stove back back up to a level six because we want to bring this to like a nice boil before we actually put it into our preheated 350 degree 50 degree oven um, for about three and a half to four hours we want this meat to be nice and tender 
Now, you don't have to cook it in a, a, a Dutch oven. You can uh, put it in a, um, a crock pot or a slow cooker. Um, but I just prefer the Dutch oven. Y'all know I love a good Dutch oven. And I'm going to add some bay leaves to this. And if you have fresh thyme, this is where you would add fresh thyme into it. And I'm going to let this boil. Put my top back on my pot. Let it boil. Or once it comes to a boil, then you want to put this into your oven. Again, for about three and a half to four hours. And then once three and a half, four hours is up, check it and it should look something like this to me it don't look that eye appealing so y'all know i'm not gonna leave it in this pot but it is so much flavors in this pot it you would smack your mama and it, it it like it's fork tender and i'm gonna take the meat out and put it into whatever dish this is called i don't know what dish but i got it from walmart i got this dish this bowl i don't know what this is called but i'm just gonna mince up this meat with the with two forks that's how tender it is and i'm gonna mince um well not mince i'm gonna shred up this meat um and into big pieces and small pieces and then I'm going to add those potatoes and those carrots and those um, onions on top of it. And then that um, the, the juice that's left, we're going to make a bomb gravy, guys. And if, you're, if you don't have enough gravy, or sorry, if you don't have enough juice left to make a gravy, which you should, you can always add a little bit more uh, beef broth to it. Um, and once you do that, we're going to make our gravy, guys. And this is very simple. So once you, um, you got to strain the juice out because you want all those extra onions and stuff out. Um, all I'm doing is making a slurry. So I just, uh... Put about two tablespoons of flour in with a half a cup sorry a cup of water and i just poured it into my uh my juice and then you're gonna watch it thicken up you can also season it with a little bit more um worcestershire sauce whatever type of seasoning you want to use and then once it starts to boil a little bit you're gonna see it thicken up and then you just want to taste it guys and then do it to your consistency if you like it to be a little thinner don't put as much flour in if you like it to be thick put a lot of flour in but we're just going to pretty much just Pour this gravy on top of this also oh flavorful meat. Guys, put some parsley on this bad boy and serve it just like this, guys. You ain't even you ain't gotta do nothing else. But y'all know I love a good presentation time. I, I really enjoy it. This is like the highlight where I can show y'all my creativity. So it's presentation time because we all know presentation is key. So I have some mashed potatoes, guys. Yes, it's homemade. I know y'all be going on me because I be using a box. Ain't nothing wrong with the box mashed potatoes, but these are homemade. And um, I just had my uh, mashed potatoes, guys. And then I just gonna place some meat on top of the mashed potatoes. It's kind of like a puzzle to make it look pretty. So, I mean, I literally just be, mm, this don't fit. This piece don't fit. And I just be playing with it, especially for y'all, because I want to take a beautiful picture. And then I'm going to take some gravy. I told y'all I love gravy. And I'm just going to pour it all around so the mashed potatoes, the gravy can hit the mashed potatoes. Then I'm going to put my carrots on there, top it off with some parsley, and that's it. People were saying, my pot roast don't look like yours. I'm like, because you ain't doing the presentation, sis. That's why. When you, when you do this presentation, guys, it just elevates your dish to make it look like it's something more than, than it is is and it's not but that's it guys be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you guys are washing your hands and i will see you guys at my next video